Day two of my visit to St. Jude. If you missed why I am at St. Jude in Memphis, Tennessee, go back to the first part and this will all make sense. Day two started off with me getting to wear this for an MRI. Are you jealous? We did EKG. They were playing the show Two Broke Girls, which seems like an odd choice for children. I'm not a kid. Just usually there's kids there. You understand that? Third up. All right. Day two, halfway through, doing pretty good. Headed to the cafeteria. This place is amazing. It's almost like a food court. They got sandwiches they'll make you, like a salad, salada style thing, pizza, sushi. Sushi's pretty good. It's pretty good. And they give you like $75 a day, which I tried to spend a lot of it. I didn't even get halfway there. After lunch, we did brain tests. At one point he read me 20 words and then asked me to recite them to him. I did not know that one. Say it again. One of the tests was just reading words out loud and then defining them. You ever tried to define the word shirt? Uh, it, it is, it's a shirt. Like what you wear on your top body. Then came my personal favorite test. The laptop just flashes letters. You hit the space bar every time a letter comes up, unless it's X. You gotta do it for 14 minutes. So I asked the guy if I could video this one, and he said no, but then he left to go to the bathroom, so I took this. No idea how I did. The final two tests were, tell us everything you eat in a year. I drink a lot of coffee. And finally, put this thing on. And then I ran uphill for 10 minutes and nearly died. I would say that was the end of my day because it was the last test, but I'm a comic, so I hit up an open mic. In an article on automobile accidents, The Atlantic reported, the responsibility of road safety falls largely on the individual driving the car. You don't say. <laughs> that's it. I leave tomorrow knowing that I'm pretty stinking healthy and I get to do it, to do it all again in five years. <laughs>